this is by far the bag that I wear the most. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another what's in my bag video. It's been over a year now since I last did a what's in my bag video and you guys seem to really like the other one. I will leave that one right here where I showed my coach bag and everything I have inside it as minimalist and so I decided to do an updated version because I did update my everyday bag. So I'll tell you all about this bag and the things I keep inside it. I used to have only two bags and it was a Calvin Klein little bag. I talked about it in my last video, so it's this one. And then I have this bigger coach bag, which is the Coach Lily Carry All for anyone who's interested. And as you can see, this bag is now one year old and it's still in perfect condition. It's still one of my favorite bags. It's still a bag that I highly recommend if you're looking for something nicer and bigger to have every day, but it's a little bit too big and a little bit too heavy for everyday use. So as you can see, it's like about four hands big if you want to measure it in you know a not very accurate way but because it's so heavy duty and because it's got like the metal finishings at the bottom and the handles are so sturdy it does end up weighing quite a bit just on its own and then if you add things to it because of its size you can add quite a bit then it does end up getting a little bit heavy on the shoulder because it is a shoulder bag it, ha it has a strap you can also use the handles obviously, but yeah, it does get a little bit heavy if you carry it all day. This is the bag that I'll typically grab if I'm going out for dinner or if I'm going to a friend's house in a situation where the bag will be set down for the majority of the time, but it's not my everyday bag. So for my everyday bag, I actually recently, about two months ago, just bought a new one. My coach bag, which I had previously, the corners were completely worn out. I don't have it anymore, so I can't show you what they looked like. But essentially, because I used it so much, it ended up just looking really ratchet. And so I ended up upgrading to this coach bag. This is the Jamie camera bag in black. And I ended up opting for this one because I've had cheaper bags before. And I just find that they don't last the way that I use them. I tend to use this bag every single day. I take it with me to coffee shops. I throw it around in my car. And I need something that's going to hold up that looks nice and elegant with every outfit, but that doesn't, one, weigh me down, and two, just get old and look bad after like a year because it's just a waste of money if you're having to buy a new bag every single year. So I love this bag because it's very casual. As you can see, it's got like a canvas type of strap with the coach logo on it but it's very lightweight and so is the entire bag since it's not as structured and it fits quite a bit even though it's slightly bigger than my hand it fits quite a bit so in comparison to the carry-all it's you know as you can see quite a bit smaller and definitely a lot less sturdy and so a lot lighter if you've been following my channel for a bit you know that when i find something that i love i will get it in every color and i usually don't do that with bags because again i'm a minimalist so i try to keep my collection very small but i had to with this particular bag i found this bag in the freeport outlet in alcochete for anyone who's in portugal or coming to portugal and i paid 189 euros for this one and it was down 60% I want to say from its original price so it was a very very good find I couldn't stop thinking about the white version of it which is this one and I ended up going back for this one because I just figured that having these two bags would be literally all I need for my bag collection this one works with literally everything I just have to pair it with black shoes black boots black sandals and then any outfit that doesn't work with this will definitely work with this because I can pair this one with brown sandals, with beige sandals, um, you name it. And the best part is I can also use this bag with very colorful outfits. So this bag is very handy in the summer because if I'm wearing pinks, yellows, oranges, this bag will go with it. And it also again has the canvas strap with the coach logo and it's just the exact same thing. Again, it's half of my hand in height and then about a hand big and it's super light. Having these two bags just means I'm really set up for basically every outfit and so 
this is just like part of my uniform now. I grab one of these bags either for my light outfits or for my more neutral outfits. Other than these two bags, so these two small Jamie camera bags and my carry-all chunkier bag, I have one more bag, but I don't count it as part of my collection. Just the bag that I use for the gym and for, you know, going with the dog or something where I don't want to be taking my more expensive or pricier bag so I don't want my dog's nails to like scratch these or something like that. Yeah, this is the Everywhere belt bag from Lululemon. I ended up getting this one because I wanted, again, a bag that would last me a little bit longer than just your traditional kind of belt bags. Um, but that wouldn't look bad with wear and tear and that I could easily clean. So this one, because it's like this kind of wooly material can be thrown in the washing machine it can be hand washed if my dog's paws scratch on here you can't see it obviously because it's very textured it's also very lightweight so it doesn't weigh anything i can wear it around my waist or i can wear it across my chest it's got a little compartment in the back here and just one main body um and some receipts currently in there this is my more like casual everyday I don't mind what happens to it, but still take good care of it type of bag. Also, this bag is usually priced at around $60, but if you wait for like Black Friday and post Christmas sales, they go down all the way to like $25. So I got this one for $25, and I just think that it's a very good deal if you can buy it at that price. I don't think that it would be worth the full price tag for it, honestly, because it's just such a simple little thing. Um, but yeah, if you can snag it for $25, definitely recommend looking into their everywhere bag. Back to these guys. I'm obviously not going to show you what's inside both bags because I'll just take whatever's in here and put it in there so that wouldn't make much sense. I like to have a little emergency kit which mainly consists of like a pad, paracetamol, and a few other pills. So I have one of each in each bag so I don't have to move those things around but for the rest I move everything around. This is by far the bag that I wear the most and to show you guys what's inside of it I'm just gonna pull things out. So. The first thing in here is my Ander wallet. I've seen these in my other videos if you've been following me for a while, but yes, I'm still using this wallet. I still love it. Um, I can just press and all my cards come out and it's very handy. It's got a little slot here that I never really use. Um, and it's got this thing here for cash. So if you have any bills on you, um, it does look a little worn out, but I kind of like how it looks with all the scratches. So yeah, I still have this wallet. It's just really handy. It fits in my bag, doesn't occupy any space. It serves its purpose. It's all I really need. And then in here, I also have my AirPods usually. These are just the like original AirPods from like five or six years ago. And this little case I got on Timu just to protect them. But yeah, I usually take these with me pretty much everywhere I go. It's just so if I'm waiting somewhere, like today I had a doctor's appointment, I can just listen to some YouTube videos. I have this, which is a hand sanitizer. It's by Han, which I believe is a Spanish brand. This one's the Healing Crescents scent. And the reason I love it so much is that it's very flat, so it doesn't occupy any space in here. As you can see, it only takes up this much space. It doesn't leave my hands dry, and you can refill it once it's empty. Pull this up, and you refill it through here. So I really like it because it means that I don't have to keep buying them. And it's also obviously not as bad for the environment, but yeah, I find the doses are perfect and it's really handy. But the next thing I have in here is a little Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips Lip Balm. And the reason I like this one now more than my blue one, which is the one I always used to have in my bags, is because this one has like a bit of a rosy tint. Let me open it. Yeah, so as you can see, it's got a little bit of color to it. And so it's not the same as lipstick, obviously, but if you're just wearing, you know, concealer and going out running errands, having this to hydrate your lips and then give your lips a little bit of color is really nice. So I like having this one. It also smells really, really nice and it's easy to keep in my bag. Next in here, I just have my keys, which are not that interesting, but yeah. I also have just some coins and loose wrappers. This is like a very real what's in my bag video. I did not like clean out my bag for this. And also to show you what the inside looks like. So the bag does not have like a, 
back zipper pouch but it does have this kind of envelope back which i really like it's very easy to like slip your phone in and out of here when you're walking and since this is the side of the bag that's against your body it's like safer than putting it in your back pocket or something like that um you definitely still have to be careful obviously but yeah it's just very handy to have and put your phone in here and take it out so if you're you know trying to look at your grocery list on your phone or something like that and don't have pockets then this is a great alternative i also did a what's in my iphone 15 plus video recently i'll leave the card right here if you haven't seen that already you can go and check that out and so inside this bag there's quite a few little pouches i'm trying to see if you can see them because of the light so there's this one pouch here that has a little button and what i use to put here is i just have band-aids and an extra hair tie in here which is just handy to have and then this is where I also keep my pills. So I have Emodium pills always on me. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I have these everywhere. Um, if you know, you know. And I have usually just like paracetamols for headaches or anything like that. And then I tend to carry a pad with me just in case. So it's got like two, I wanna say they're called like card pouches, I guess. The inside of the bag is brown also, by the way. It's got this, these two card pouches, and usually I use one for coins, since my wallet doesn't have a coin pouch. And this is just like a wipe. It's supposedly like an intimate wipe, but you can just use it to wipe your hands or anything. So I have that in here always. It's very hard to show you guys what the bottom of the bag looks like, but yeah, it's not that interesting in there, but it's practical, which is exactly what I needed in a bag and why I selected this one. Maybe in the beige one, you can see a little bit better. Yeah, I guess the beige one makes it easier to see, but it's got, that's the pouch that has the little clip. And on the other side, it's got the two kind of card holders, which yeah, I don't use them as card holders. And then you can see again here, the little back pouch where you can just put your phone. As you can see, I got a lot of neutrals and a few colors in my closet. So for example, if I were to be wearing these like very bright pink pants that I have here, then I would opt for pairing it with this white bag. It also looks very nice with yellows or like blues, also very nice. This very colorful little cardigan would also look nice with it. Obviously, the black one goes with everything that's neutral. I actually wore this colorful cardigan with my black bag and some matching black sandals and white pants, and that outfit looks very cute. And yeah, just everything that's neutral will obviously look good with this bag. And what I usually do is like, I would pair it with this black bag if I were going out for dinner, this cute little top and some black heeled sandals. But if I'm just going for like a more casual during the day outfit, then I'll probably opt for my beige bag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little what's in my bag video. I've made a mess, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And if you did enjoy it, please leave me a comment because it really helps with telling the algorithm that this is a fun little video to watch and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!